COVID, war, school shootings, the challenges we've been dealing with are taking a toll on many people's mental health. One stress symptom is morning headaches. Eyewitness News reporter Denise DeDore spoke to specialists and has tips for dealing with them. Psychologists say the past two years and the stress of recent events have caused a collective rise in anxiety. Psychiatric nurse practitioner Dr. Kojo Sarfo says dwelling too much on disturbing affairs can heighten the tension you feel. You might be anxious throughout the day and it can impact how you live. A simple sign of the stress can be headaches, particularly the kind you wake up with. It can be debilitating. It's very common in people that are in their most productive years of life, though, so 20s, 30s. 40s. Common culprits behind morning headaches are sleep disorders such as insomnia, snoring, and obstructive sleep apnea. A study in Poland found nearly a third of people with sleep apnea tend to wake up with headaches. A CPAP machine can reduce or eliminate morning headaches. CPAP is the most commonly used and effective treatment for the more serious sleep apnea condition. It adds extra air pressure to the patient's breathing passage to stabilize the breathing. Teeth grinding or clenching during sleep is another reason for morning headaches. And those accustomed to drinking more than two cups of coffee daily may experience caffeine withdrawal headaches upon waking. Once you have your coffee, it should subside. What may not subside are the constant reminders of what's going on in the world. For that, Dr. Sarto recommends tuning out just enough to give you peace of mind. If uh, it's getting the best of you. I would say that's a perfect time to take a break. And, you know, depending on if you're looking at certain social media network online, you can mute certain words, but you have to make an active effort to protect your peace. Another cause for morning headaches, the rebound effect of taking too many over-the-counter medications. Seek a specialist if you're taking over-the-counter meds more than two or three times a week. Denise DeDore, ABC7 Eyewitness News.